Greetings, YouTube. Every day I hear from free-to-play players. It could just be with questions about um, the evolution of their roster, which, by the way, I haven't ever done an official video yet, but one of the most requested kinds of videos I've received lately, and this is kind of an experiment to ask what the community thinks, is for somebody to send over like one to two minutes of their overall roster and say, how would you improve it? Almost like a uh, extreme makeover Marvel Contest of Champions roster edition. I don't know if people would be interested in that or not, so I've said no to every request so far, but it is something that I think since a lot of people ask the same questions, it might be beneficial for growing players to know. I'm never going to tell you that my opinion should be taken as 100% fact. Just take it as my two cents. I could be right, I could be wrong. I always say it's whatever champions you enjoy using the most. It is the Marvel Casino of Champions. After all, it is your choice. However, I have to say this, YouTube. And I just, I just have to throw this out there. Free-to-play players can sometimes have just as good a luck, if not better, than whales. I know there's this idea that the quote-unquote free-to-play experience means always getting shafted by the casino, but time and time again, over the years, we have featured videos in this channel that contradict that narrative. That's not to say that free-to-play players aren't at a disadvantage, particularly on crazy good sales days like July 4th weekend, Cyber Weekend, or the newest addition to this now unholy triumvirate of Kabam marketing sales days, and that is, of course, the spring cleaning event. But uh, Johnny, or John, yeah, I guess Johnny90, with two eyes, hit me up recently. Because this summoner is a true free-to-play player that only grinds units for things like featured calves. And when you're grinding units for featured calves, sometimes you can only buy less than five. Sometimes you can only buy one. So this player hit me up and said, Prof, first off, this is why you record everything. But I had one shot for the units that I've saved up for trying to get five-star Hercules. One shot. We are looking for Hercules. I know so many whales out there. They, they go for him in the arena or thousands of dollars worth. Well, no Hercules so far. No Hercules so far. And, oh, no, I didn't get the five-star. <laughs> I love how he pops out the crystal. It's one of the best Kabam animations we've seen. Got the six-star. Now, of course, if you try this, you're going to get a three-star Groot. So I'm not using this video as some kind of false incentive or expectation for you to land on something that's not going to happen. But what I do know, quite certainly, is that this is free-to-play magic. This is when people who think free-to-play players just always get the shaft. It feels like all of a sudden the heavens open up and free-to-play magic is possible. Because look at this. Look at this. A true jackpot for 300 units on a player that's never spent a penny on the game. I am not trying to use this video to say that free-to-play bad luck doesn't exist. Kabam has an, a whole algorithm that sometimes will uh, tweak the luck of a profile based on past spending behavior. We've talked about that. We've read the language. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't mean that people who spend money automatically get good luck. In fact, we've seen the opposite, where Crystal Opening Whale used to open $500 worth of featured Grandmaster Crystals when those were a thing and not get the new 5-star. Uh, so it can it can be uh, $5,000 worth doesn't get the new 5-star. And now, of course, with featured calves, it's not just the 5, it's the 6, and it's also Nexus Crystals. Who knows what uh, he would land on if he came back on YouTube and started opening featured calves. Lord knows. Uh, but regardless, it's just important to show both sides. It's both important to show realistic openings where it feels like you have the local city dump sponsor your trash opening and also an opening like this that in 300 units gets you the featured six star so congratulations in this case it is definitely worth the crystal opening commentary and i also am very curious if you think and what, what would you even title that series uh me kind of going in giving you some tips on your roster how to improve it talking about some maybe mistakes you've made that i think now it's always tough to say you made this mistake because if you love if you love playing with Groot screw what i say it's just like in theory, if you were to, to rank up this champion or a champion you rank up, you'd probably clear more content based off of like just how champions perform. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I don't know if it'll be a success. It's been a while since I've done a new series on this channel because I try to 
once I, I find something that works and that people enjoy it, I try to develop it, but not start and reinvent the wheel. But in this case, there's been enough suggestions for that, that I might as well put the question out there. Thanks again this summer for the Crystal Opening Commentary submission, and thanks as always for clicking on this video and supporting my Marvel Casino of Champions YouTube channel.